Hey there, friendlies. How's it going tonight? Do we have anyone on yet? No, we don't, but that's okay, because I'm still going to be yapping. Let's just mute the computer so that we don't get the whole echoing thing happen. So, it's the June 5th Beer Blades and Bushcraft podcast, um, <laughs> live stream. And, uh... I would like to start off by saying I'm sorry I didn't get an episode out for you this week. I was starting my edit and putting my footage together yesterday and I realized I was missing some stuff. So I don't know what happened to it, but I'm going to have to reshoot a little bit and then add it in. So hey, Anthony Henry's first. How's it going, Anthony? Uh, so yeah, I'll, I'll get that episode up. It wasn't even really like anything big. It was a real simple episode, but I, I don't know. I lost my footage. But anyways, what ifs? That's just a little depressing, so let's get past it. I'm gonna strap this little baby up while we're at it, because when I was doing the um, the Amadou, man, that beats the crap out of your blade. Anthony, what are you doing these days? What's up? Still sore from the surgery, yeah? But all is well aside from that? Does that reduce your um, mobility at all? Like, I mean, long term? It seems to me that uh, that, that would reduce mobility. I don't know much about that surgery, though, so. So check this out, guys. Um, turns out that Simon may not make it and Outdoor Dauber may not make it. So what I'm thinking is, since they can't take over my channel, they're off doing, they're off planning something nefarious. So if either of you guys see Simon or Outdoor Dauber online, keep your eye on them. But Simon's supposed to be doing his live streams they are before mine. So I don't know what, uh... I think he had people coming in from out of town or something, but it's too bad that he didn't have his, his live stream tonight. I like knowing that he's out there live streaming. It's always good to have more YouTubers coming to the platform than, you know, everyone running to Twitch or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, um, so it may be a, <laughs> a more orderly conversation tonight. But Anthony, I'm glad you're, uh, I'm glad you're uh, out of the... Uh, I don't know, what, what do you call it? Out of the hospital, out of the surgery? How, how long did you have to stay at the hospital? This looks dangerous, right? Thuck, but it, it's not. I'm, I'm aiming that way. I'm waiting for more people to come online so I can unveil tonight's beer. One night. Okay. Okay. Tell you what, I'm aching, but for not as legit a reason as you are. I've been doing some, some yard work. Um, I'm supposed to be building a fence this summer. I was supposed to build a fence last summer, but anyway. Um, and so I've been... The wife wants, like, a decorative trench right under where the, the fence boards are going to go. So I dug that. Of course, my yard's all clay, so I've been moving, I was moving crap around and, you know, pouring gravel and blah, blah, blah. And then, of course, this morning we woke up, yesterday morning? This No, I think it was yesterday morning. Woke up and it was raining. And so I was afraid of my trenches falling in, so I ran outside at 6 in the morning and poured the rest of the damned um, gravel. My muscles are not loving me today. But you know, it's funny, I, I like doing hard work in, in in a lot of ways. I like I like falling into bed at night exhausted and knowing it's from good, honest work with your hands, you know? You know what I'm saying? I've always liked that feeling. Like you've earned your nightly rest. 
with the sweat of your your brow. Outdoors here. Hey, buddy -o. I was afraid you weren't going to make it. I was just telling uh, Anthony that I uh, was doing a lot of yard work this weekend and six o'clock yesterday morning I was hauling um, gravel around because it suddenly started to rain. It had probably been raining all night and I had dug all these I, I had dug this little trench the whole length of my yard and I was afraid that it was going to collapse under the under the rain. So I'm a little sore today. And I don't think I'm going to get this very sharp just with stropping. I think I'm going to have to go to the diamond plates with this knife after my Amadou experience. Yeah, I'm not getting any hair. This ain't hair popping sharp at all. But I'm afraid to, to do this with stones because I've never done that, that kind of a micro bevel or whatever before. <laughs> It's a $20 knife, why not give it a try? Am I right? Yeah, outdoor, you got it right, man. So, I don't know, what am I gonna do? Just like, lay it on the, on the bevel, right? Such a, cause I'm not used to such a tiny bevel. Let's not drop this one on the concrete floor like the last one, right? Like that. I don't know. Maybe I'll do this later. Maybe I'll do this later. What's up, that? How are you guys? What's what's up? What's happening, guys? What's happening, guys? Well, on the phone it says that there are four of us hanging, and here it still says there are three. It there's a bit of a lag on the computer though. So, so yeah, outdoor. What's what's been hanging, man? What's been going on? Did you get that, uh... Serge is here, hey. Hey Serge, do you have a beat to shit axe head by any chance? Oh, outdoor, 55 gallons of coal. Serge, you gotta help me out here. A gallon is what, four liters? Four and a bit, three, three point eight, something like that, right? Do I have that right? That's a lot of coal, dude. <laughs> Do you heat with coal? In your in your in your house of houses? Okay, so, so that's an interesting question. I'm thinking he's talking US. Outdoor Anthony's telling you that, that the surgery went great. It's funny because I had just asked him about that. I'm going to do this later. Um, for those of you who are just joining, I had said, sorry that there was no video this week, guys. Um, I had one. I was editing and I realized I'd lost half my footage somewhere. So I have to reshoot part of it. It's it's frustrating because it was just like a really simple little video, you know? But anyway, what else? What they there. Where's LT? Where the hell is LT? I know Simon probably won't make it tonight. He says he's gonna try, but he probably won't. He's got people in from out of town. Oh. Water, nectar of the gods. Bringer of life. Clean canteen. Freeing me from the plastic monster freeing me that is not by the way a paid endorsement i didn't mean for that to come off as all like sorry my wife is telling me she's in the metro i didn't mean for that to come off like an advertisement you know um just give me a second i'm telling my wife that i'm uh, live streaming
just letting her know that I'm doing the live streamage. Um, what was I talking about? What was I talking about before? Uh, Oh, hey, you guys want to hear something cool? I've been given kind of permission to... Uh, I told you guys that uh, we're doing some family camping this summer, right? First, we're going to uh, a Quebec National Park somewhere near the Saguenay where they have those... Um, what are they called? It's like... It's a canvas roof but a wooden wall and it's got like little beds. It's not really camping, it's more like glamping. It's like a, a quasi tent, but anyway. So we're doing that for like five days or something. And then later in the summer, like right at the end, Cody and I are doing a father-daughter camping trip just a weekend. And I get to buy her some camping stuff for her birthday. So here's what I want. In fact, um, I really wish that Paul, was on uh, no they're not yurts because you know yurts are circular um, let me see if I can find it while we're chatting um, I wish Paul was 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 here because um, what I want to do is find some um, kids camping stuff that that doesn't suck like actual what the hell oh someone was playing a game on her own iPad um, so I've been given permission to sort of, you know, step out a little bit, you know, and, and buy her some good camping stuff, but that's, you know, her sized. So I'm looking for a, um, I'm going to be looking for like a, a summertime sleeping bag probably, or like maybe a three, three season something, you know, um, cause there's no way she's coming winter camping with me. I don't even winter camp. I'm too wimpy. Um, hold on a sec. I don't even know how to. Is that um, it's not at Le Morrissey. No, because that's a federal prevent. That's a federal um, national park. It's confusing in Quebec because we have federal national parks, and we have provincial national parks. I'm gonna have to silence this thing because. The Girlio has, a you know those games like talking this and talking that? And so I think it's going to be notifying me while we're chatting. So I'm going to turn the sound off. I'm not old enough to be this confused by this machine. Where's the damn mute button? Darn burner, where'd that goddamn mute button? Hey, I'll just turn the volume all the way down. There we go, mutey. Um, the wife is just telling me that. Okay, she does in fact have a key to get in. <laughs> um, so yeah, that, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pick her up some some camping stuff, like some. Thing is, like I don't want to get. I don't know how, like, sleeping bags for kids work and everything. Like, I know clothes she grows out of every year. But I know that she's way too small for an adult-sized sleeping bag. So do they make kid-sized sleeping bags? You know, like, I don't know anything about equipping a child for, for the forest. Um, and by that point, I will hopefully have... Uh, Very funny outdoor. You know what? Simo's not around tonight, so you 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 just behave yourself. Also, Serge, I was serious. Do you have a beat to hell axe head? I have an idea. I want to talk to you about. But anyway, so I'm thinking sleeping bag. She's already got some hiking boots, thanks to her mom. Um, maybe like a stick to put marshmallows on, like a, a metal rod. You know, they make those sort of fork things. You buy them at Canadian Tire or I assume Walmart. Like fun stuff that'll make it. Make camping kid friendly for her. Sounds you do. Okay, we're gonna talk. I have an idea for an upcoming episode that I want you in on. Um, 
Yeah, but outdoor, I can't get an axe head off of you. Because you live across the border, so everything is expensive. Zelsh has two, okay. You know who else has a uh, has an axe head that I would like to hang? Simon. We're going to talk about that double again? I guess uh, LT is not coming tonight, eh? Anyone got a beer on? Or are we doing are we doing our drinking thing? Where's my beer opening knife? Here. Outdoor, that's exactly what I was afraid of. I I feel that you're right. I feel that you're right. I, that all kids sleeping bags are either crap or hella expensive. I definitely that's the feeling that I'm getting. And I don't, like, I can't go uber expensive. Uh, we just had something very expensive happen to us, which is making us rethink our entire summer. But I don't want to talk about that online. Actually, Outdoor, that's not that bad an idea. You just stand on the American side of the border, I'll stand on the Canadian side, wind up and whip it as far as you can. Oh, tonight's suds are Coup de Canon. Whoops. Coup de Canon by the Bill Bouquet. Le Bill Bouquet. Um, the, a Coup de Canon is, is, a, is, is the boom that a cannon makes when it fires. Hence the poor dude being shot out of a cannon. All right, what does this one say? Le Coup de Canon se fait entendre. It surprend, l'esprit se réveille, et se réveille. Wrong language. The cannon is heard, an amazing, booming voice. It fires up the senses in a surprising way. This vibrant, coffee-flavored, which I detect, beer never misses its mark. Pairs well with appetizers and desserts alike. And once again, I forgot to get a glass. So if Mike Morton comes on, he's going to give me hell. Robin's here. Hey, man. Yes, uh, the report of a cannon or, or a gun, exactly. Um, Diet Coke, two whack on pain meds for beer. All right, Anthony, that is totally legit. Outdoor, yes, Simon has a very nice Walters double. One. There's definitely the coffee in there. I get kind of a molasses thing happening at the back. Oh, and uh, as always, uh, it's 500 milliliters, which is 0.9 fluid ounces or one pint. Black beer flavored with coffee, 5% alcohol by volume. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Wait, this is backwards again, right? You just have to trust me. Kilkenny, yeah, that's a, that's a good, that's a legit choice. A bouquet in a bottle. Good old outdoor. He's got a thing for the words. He got some skill. I know it could have been mine. I know. I do cuff at that double axe head. Because I, I keep saying, because it hasn't happened yet, I really have a yen for a full-size double in good. Not perfect, but, you know, usable condition. Not like ground halfway to hell the way my little... <coughs> That's one. Hey, Scott! How's it going, man? Um, not like sharpened to hell the way my little uh, Norland is. You know, it's funny because... Um... Yeah, Serge, exactly. There is one. I, um... I ordered another Walter's axe off of that guy. It was like a fireman's axe. You know, with a big one with a, a spike at the end at the arse there and it, it disappeared in the mail it was expensive and the shipping was expensive and it's gone so I said next time I order an axe off you let's let's get it uh, signature only okay because not only did I spend a, a whack of money on something that ain't gonna come but there's a Walters out there somewhere out there crying for its rightful owner lonely Hiding behind a dumpster, maybe. Maybe in someone else's house, but it knows that that's not the house where it's supposed to be. 
It's lonely. It's calling for me in the night. And I'm just not there to save it. Somewhere between Montreal and small town Ontario. Bugs me. It's not a Pulaski. It's it's like it's literally a fireman's axe. Like it, it doesn't have the um it's not like a, a sh whatever ads like thing. It's it's a it's a spike. Um like here, hold on. So here's the bit. It comes like this. And I'm not making it beautiful enough because hey, it's a Walter, so obviously it's gorgeous, but you know. What else? Here we go. We've got this shape here, we got like this. Here's just the top of the health coming out the top of the head. I moved it over too much. It's okay. It's okay. We don't need this. It's, it's not important. Right? You know that shape? It was a full size, you know? I was excited. Oh, Scott, you couldn't get um, single uh, beer singles before in uh, PA? That would suck. Like if I was trying something new and I had to buy a six or a two four or something? Hell, no way. Oh, uh, Scott, oh, Yards bar Brawler again. I wonder whether that axe hung out, ended up, but it's way outclassed. My biggest um, crappy story like that was like 20 years ago, I bought a bass amp, like not the whole speaker, not the whole cab and everything, just the amp, just the head. It was um, a Yorkville sound. Actually, it was, <coughs> it was older. I think it still said trainer on it, okay? Excellent Canadian brand, but it was in like... Michigan or New York or Connecticut or you know some American state that wasn't too far south so I laid my 600 bucks on the uh, Sir Commonwealth is drinking Hogarden. Garden legit choice legit choice um, Edward Dover says PA has stupid beer laws okay um, Pretty much the only laws we have here in Quebec. Now I'm I'm absolutely lying, but the only two laws that that pop into my head are you can't buy alcohol after eleven, like anywhere at a de um, what the hell's a depener in English? Serge. Robin, one of you guys who lives here but speaks two languages. What's a depener in English? It's a store, like a neighborhood, a corner store. Either at the corner store or the grocery store, you can't buy alcohol after eleven p.m or I think before 11 a.m. And as far as I know, you cannot get a growler, a, you cannot get a growler filled here. Just can't do it. Um, now, when the liquor commissions are all owned by the government, it probably has more to do with keeping the, you know, the competition down than anything else, but you know. Whatever's right. Convenience store. Okay, Serge says it's a convenience store. Oh, I hate it when I like I lose the word like that. So stupid. It makes me sound like I'm way more French than I am. But as some of you guys here know, when you live in two languages, you'll forget words in any language on occasion. So for those of you who are just joining us, I um, tried to strop up this blade that I beat to hell making Amadou and it, it it needs more than a stropping. It definitely needs to go to the diamond stone. So I'm trying to get up the... Um... Sir Commonwealth says the only American beer he can stomach or she can stomach, I think it's a he with Sir Commonwealth, is PBR. Really interesting. Um... On occasion, I'll go to, like, down in the States. Um, like, I've gone to some, a couple of microbreweries in New York City. Because I, I have in-laws down in New York. Um, and I've had some fabulous suds down there. But generally speaking, the, the big brands I have a really hard time with. Jeffer Videos. Hey, how many cores? Okay. 
uh, outdoors. Oh, okay. You could only buy beer at a bar or a six pack shop. I guess that's like a beer store. So what's up, Jeff? What's going on these days? So Scott says it's a Pulaski as well. I always thought that a Pulaski was one of those that was like an axe on one side and more like an adze on the other, rather than having that, that, that spike. Yeah, outdoor, we have the same, essentially the same thing up here. Um, you know, beer you can buy at, at a grocery store or a, what, what's it called, a convenience store. Um, wine, now you can also buy in those two. But for anything that's more hard liquor -y, or let's face it, any of the good beer, um, the good wine, you have to go to a, to a government, uh, it's called an SAQ, the Société de du Québec, I think it is. The Quebec Liquor Commission, essentially. Um, oh. Sure, Commonwealth says he's had Blue Moon like a few years ago and had one the other day and it tasted awful. I don't know. Let's look it up. Blue Moon Brewing Co Company. Oh, you know what? Yes, yes, yes. Let me see. let me view the site. Why do I have to verify my age to read about alcohol? What if, you know, what is it? People are not going to get drunk reading the website. A taste that shines brighter. Let's see. I have a sneaking suspicion that what happened to Blue Moon might have been the same that happened to many, many other small brands. Born in a ballpark, what's in the name? The Orange Garnish, Colorado Roots. Two decades. Because I'm wondering if they got bought by one of the big guys. But like, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna spend our 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 together time, um, reading up too much on it. But oh no, I you know what I did? No, I didn't. Okay, live dashboard is there. Um. Now, what, what, um, uh, no alcohol, that, knuckle dragger. Oh, you, tr you grew up in a dry county. I didn't know there was such thing anymore, man. Where? Guys, knuckle dragger says he, he or she, I think it's a he, I don't know, grew up in a dry county. Jeff, got a new Honda Shadow, oh yeah? Open up the cottage May 24 weekend. I don't have a cottage. If I did have a cottage, believe me, you guys would see a lot more axe and campfire videos coming from me. Um, but yeah, is that a brand new bike? Did you get it new or is it like new to you? Scott, <laughs> Scott's daughter comes home and there goes the bandwidth. <laughs> She's probably YouTubing or something. Uh, yeah, Sir Commonwealth, yeah. Um, in some, especially when Coors buys someone, man, they always, it seems like they always change, change stuff. Jonathan is saying Fat Tire is a great Belgian style beer. Sir Commonwealth is 23. Wow, okay. Man, I'm a lot older than you. Okay, sold the ninja, okay. Outdoor dauber. <laughs> you know what? I, I take a long time in the shower because that's where I shave. And shaving with a straight razor takes a long time, no matter how you slice it. Or not. 
um, but you need a lot of water. So like I do a, like a five minute shower, excuse me. And then the shave takes like another five, sometimes 10 minutes. But yeah, 40 minute showers, Jesus. When I was a kid, I was one of those who didn't want to get in the bath and then didn't want to get back out. And my daughter is exactly the same. And I'm wondering if that was uh, two. Really? Didn't even notice. I'm wondering if that's a universal thing. You know? All right, I'm going to try this. I'm going to try seeing if I can uh, not beat the hell out of this edge with the diamond plate. I mean, hey, I have no experience with a micro bevel, so why not try it on camera, right? I also have to get better lighting down here, man. This is... I have to get better lighting down here. I have to clean this place up. Like get it organized and stuff. I got to... I have so much stuff to do. Got to finish the fence in my yard. Got to build the fence in my yard, I mean. Did I? Oh, Outdoor bought a new tool. Okay. What? Let me know, man. Send pictures. Or, or a link so that we can all check it out. I want to see what... What outdoor bot? I want to see what the bot. Let me see if I have. I don't know. I don't know if I'm getting it right. Outdoor man, don't leave me hanging. I want to know what that new tool is. Yes, I know. I definitely need to hang Simo's Walters. Then I have to convince him to let me have it somehow in exchange for uh, something. You know what I'd like to try is welding. Simo has an old um, stick welder. You want a one ton chain hoist for butchering, okay. One ton is going to be big enough for deer, that's for damn sure. Is that, I guess, is that big enough for cows? I don't think I've ever seen that big a hoist. I, I don't know, like, I'm, I'm having a hard time. Uh... Oh, it sounds cool, man. Why don't you do a video or take take pictures or something? You, you know, something that I can I can link to while we're doing these chats so you can show them off. Do you have pictures up anywhere? I'd love to see it. I've, you know what, Sasha, I've never blued anything. Never blued anything. I've, I've wanted to try maybe bluing an axe head or something, but I've, I've never blued anything. Look, you have to, you have to wash it off good, right? So that there's no oil or anything on the blade at all. Do I have that right? So yeah, nice. Okay, you did take this. Tara pulling on a rope with pulleys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Outdoor, are you like a full-on farmer? I, I hadn't realized that. Like, I, I thought maybe you were a homesteader or something. Let me concentrate on what I'm doing here. It's just to make sure I don't bugger the blade for a second. Because he's... Like, I know, you know, those of you guys who watch Weeder Fan, right? He puts it down on, on, a, on a stone and... But I don't have, like, stones all set up or anything right now. And I, I don't want to have a big vat of water, you know, here. See, I'll send a photo. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh, okay. Is that how it's going to be? Whew. Let me see.
Tough Stag Ultra Honed Bowie Knife. That's, now that's a knife. Hold on, guys. I'm going to try to show you this without knocking all my crap over. He, uh, Serge, um, blued his Bowie Knife this evening. This evening, he did, in fact, blew the knife. He blew it. Ah, ha, 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 ha. How's that? What do you think, guys? It's, it's good. It's very good. I think he's nice. Nice work, mister. What made you decide to blew it? Me, no, I'll, I'll try to get a car in, um, in the fall. I, I don't think I'm going to have the credit rating before then. We, you know, we came through some tough times there. You know, we, we didn't go bankrupt or anything, but. You know what, that, that's an epic lie. I, I don't, you know, the credit rating is not the problem. I'm still at this stage where I'm afraid to spend a lot of money just because, you know, I'm not used to having money yet. Um, but we were not in the, I don't think we'll be in the position for me to buy a new car until fall. Which is too bad, because it means that I kind of see this as being another wasted summer. I don't know what I'm going to do about that, guys. I don't know. Actually, Serge offered to uh, to drive me out to a little piece of land that uh, he knows he got me permission to film on. So I think that maybe I'll be taking you up on that. Next two weekends are weird. Well, this weekend we're doing a birthday party for my daughter. Her birthday's in August, but none of her school friends are in town in August. So for her school friends, we always do a party like in June. And then we do her real birthday party on the weekend closest to her birthday which is the first of August so this Saturday we have a party for the squirt and then the next two weekends I have gigs out of town uh, one in like I don't know somewhere out in, in the, uh, the boonies and then one two actually the following weekend in Victoria British Columbia so I'll be flying across the country but when I get back, I'm going to finish the damn fence, and then I want to hit the bush. Like, as soon as possible, because I'm going crazy. Oh, okay, so maybe a Pulaski does have this bike. Okay. I'm sure that was the one with the like that the, the grubbing hole on the on the other side. <clears throat> oh Sash, okay, I get it. I see why. Okay. Cause Fireman's axes also have that spike. But maybe this was too big to be a fireman's axe. Because fireman's axes are always more like felling axe size, right? Still not hair popping sharp here, guys. What the hell, man? What's up with that? I'm working my ass off here. I'm, I'm, I don't know what the hell I'm doing, so it's legit. I, uh, four, really? I didn't notice that. How sad is it that I'm not even noticing them anymore? How sad is that? How sweet it is. Stop it.
thing is, I wouldn't even be trying this if this was like a hundred dollar blade. You know, I'd be like, I'm not sharpening this until I've watched a million videos on it. Because it's so bloody affordable, I'm just like, I'm laying it on to where it feels like it's, it's about right. I'm giving her the business. You sent a pic via text? Let me see. Paul, who'd you send that, that picture to? Because I don't have it. No, I do not have the, the photo. Uh, the missus 